Welcome to my series on the Presona Studio Live 1602 Digital Mixer. Okay, let's take a look at saving and creating your scenes and loading your scenes. So once again, once you get everything where you want it for whatever project you're working on, whether it's live or in your studio, you've got an opportunity to save everything in the board, all your settings, all your effects, all your auxiliary sound stuff, everything, can be saved to a scene. So up here in the scene section where your screen is, you'll see right next to the effects button, a scene button. So let's say I have everything set up and I want to save my scene. So I press scene and it's going to come up and tell me that I can save my session to any type of location. There's 80 different locations I can go up to for saving specialized scenes. And there's also a little note down here that says recalling. And it'll tell you, do you want to recall your mutes, your effects, your EQ and dynamics, your effects mixes, your auxiliary mixes, what about your faders, your pots and EQ. And you can select yes or no by using the previous and next and your volume con your uh, va value control. You can skip through all of these and then just change it from yes to no. And then what you do is when you get this the way you want it, you would hit store. And then you would name it. And of course, I'm on board zeroing out, so it's not going to overwrite it. But you would change the name and save it to whatever name you want to use. So when you want to go back in and find one, you can just go in. Let's say number 12 says something here. Then you would just say to recall it, and again, that menu is going to come up and allow you to select what you want recalled. And it's going to give you the same options as when you saved it. But you can decide that, well, you know what, I don't want my EQ and Dynamics. They were a mess. Just, you know, use your next button, go over to EQ and Dynamics, and change it to no. And then when you hit, re you know, recall, it will go up, and it's going to bring everything in without that so you've got a little bit of leeway as far as what kind of things you're saving and what things you're not saving and so that's how you're going to use your scene selection for saving and loading